You guys will see something funny. Right now I'm getting about 140 some FPS looking at nothing. And then when we turn around, we get less than 30. Oh, John Deere. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Doll Ranch. Yeah, it's been like two months since we've been here on Doll Ranch. But we've got stuff to sell. So if you guys were with us the last time we were here, uh, we had, well, some pretty crazy stuff was going on. We had a lot of stuff that we had to do as far as selling. Well, we hadn't done that yet. So it's time to jump in and get some stuff sold. So this, uh, this series right here, if you guys missed it or if you don't know what's going on, you're like, DJ, refresh your time. Go. Basically, what this series was was a thing to see which is better, John Deere or Case. Now, Case had a one cell uh, leg up on John Deere before we made the John Deere farm. However, John Deere might be catching up right here. I am running this in multiplayer as well, so just keep that in mind too. Let's take this. So let's take a look real fast just to see, all right, what's the dealio and who's got more money. Right now, Case Farm's got 7.5. We need to get to 7.7. .7. John Deere Farm has 6.1. Well, what are we going to be doing here? Let's go ahead and get this dumped out. Why are we dumping out the green door? <laughs> I'll never know. Oh yeah, because this place goes nuts. Okay, so for the last sale that we did, uh, as far as corn goes, that's $606,000 off of that sale. However, that is not near enough. So. I think we're about to take up all the stops. It is, uh, well, whoever wins is going to win. Is that, yeah, that's, that's a, it's an accurate statement. Ooh, we're sliding. Uh, so we're going to have to use the equipment that we have in game. I do have it set to worker by seed and fertilizer. At least I believe that is correct. Let's see. Let's go back and double check here. Um, yeah, there we go. Worker by seed. Yup, yup, yup. That is all on. So, eh, money's gonna go down here. Well, let's make a game plan and let's get away from all this John Deere equipment giving me terrible frame rate. Since I know that we need as much money as possible and I know cotton sells for very good and the fact that we can plant cotton with these guys right here. Man, the FPS is killing me. Let's jump in here and let's plant some cotton. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, I love these so much. These things are massive, first off. Humongo John Deere, just crazy, crazy, crazy things. Uh, let me know if you guys are digging the John Deere case stuff. I am loving it, I'm having a good time doing it. Of course, class will be back. Don't worry, don't worry. We can just take a little break for a day or two. Ain't nothing wrong with that whatsoever. So, we've got this. I'm just gonna set this on a worker and let the worker have some fun. Hopefully the worker has some fun. Please have some fun. <laughs> Let's get it all lined up. Uh, this is plowed. Please don't tell me we need anything else. Also, why is it general settings that always just kind of freeze up? Never did that before. Plowed, good, does not need lime. Then we are all right. Let's get this completely lined up. Goodness gracious, I'd say what. I don't know if it's just all the John Deere stuff in one place. I don't know what is going on, but this map is so unhappy with me about doing all this. It's not even funny. Okay. Drop it down. Cotton's in. Get your party on. Oh, yeah. There is one set. We've got another one. We are going to need to hit headlands here at the top. So just keep that in mind. Jump in here. Oh, baby, oh, baby, the non-RX. Now, this is the custom modding version. At least I believe this is the custom modding version. Uh, I did have two of these at one point, so I think this is the custom modding one. I guess we'll find out, won't we? So this is set to 26. Let's set this over to cotton. We are going to be using the crazy cotton harvester to uh, take care of this and make it happen. I know you guys really like that crazy cotton harvester. I really like it as well, so we will be using that on here. We might do it today, might be tomorrow. Just depends on when this is all going to be ready to go. Now, of course, we could go in here and use uh, 
Use some extra seed and fertilizer, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're all right. So let's drop it down. Let's turn it on. Give it a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. And move along, baby. Move along. So this thing will fast farm, which is great. I always love it when we get mods that can fast farm. It makes me all kinds of happy inside. Uh, down here, we're going to be running, I think, two headlands, possibly three. Uh, just depending on kind of how much space we get and if we end up hitting the side of the map right here. Uh, the side of the map, if you guys have played on Doll Ranch, we are at the very bottom of the map right now. Field 5. And uh, Jesse, John Deere Farm, they only own one farm or one field as well. That's going to be on field four. Oh, we're going to hit. Yeah, yeah, we're going to hit. We're going to have to back this one up. Good job, DJ. Here we go. Headlands are done, and we've got this rocking and rolling. Let's pop in. Let's see. So you can see how much we've got done and how much is being done. So that's good, but we've still got some more work to do over here on the case farm. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pop over to the case farm. Am I sure? Yep, absolutely sure. Do your thing. Now let's pop around. Let's see what we got going on. So we've got some sugar beet harvesting that was happening. Let's see. Let's get rid of a few things. Do we own these guys? I don't feel like we need these. <laughs> can we sell them? Yo, can we sell these and actually make some money off of that? Yo, if we could do that. Oh, these are modded ones. So they were basically free. Uh, let's see. What about the headers for them? I know we've got some headers around here. Some, do we? Were those headers per? <laughs> those headers released? Seriously? Okay, whatever. Oh man, we've got so much case stuff going on here as well. We had a bunch of stuff. I think we were lining stuff up. Oh yeah, <laughs> this thing with the uh, John Deere planner, just to trigger some people. So I am so confident. Let's take a look. I'm so confident that Case is going to win this because we only need $200,000. Needs plowing. Oh, man. So we're going to have to plow this whole field. Okay. So we'll get that kind of started up now. Uh, let's see. What's a good... What's some good stuff for plowing up? Let's take... Maybe a... Yeah. This guy right here. Case. Maxim. Maxim? No. This is a Magnum. Uh, these are not the modded versions. We were not using them in this series mainly because, well, those weren't available yet. And so I was like, well, if they're not available, you know, they just weren't available, so we didn't use them. Uh, we do need to get this thing plowed up, like I said. So I think I've got one plow, maybe two. I have to pop around. Yep, I see a second one. So we're going to put both of these case magnums on the plows, kind of get this field done about as quick as we can. Tell you what. This, uh, this series, there was a reason that I quit doing this series, and it wasn't because I I didn't like it or, you know, anything like that. This series takes forever. It takes like three hours to record an episode, which, to be fair, is a long time, and I ain't got time for that. So, yeah. Uh, again, just like before, we've got to hit headlands. These fields are pretty rough to, to mess with, so uh, we do have to hit some headlands on here. Get about right there. Seriously? Really? You you unfolded into a thing, a post? For real? That's dumb. <laughs> Are we kidding right now? Oh my god! Just get out of there! Wow! Okay. Now we're on it. Alright. So let's get these headlands done. Let's get this fill all plowed up, and then we're going to cut back through, and I'm going to plant weed in it because I am that cocky. A little bit of backstory on kind of what got me starting a series like this and why it's taken so long. And I mentioned before, it takes forever to record these episodes, and so that was a big factor when doing these. Um, but what wanted me to start this is... The series started off, and I'll make sure that I link it in the cards and, and down below, so you can check out the whole playlist. I'm not sure how many videos there are, but what you could do is, I was like, you know what? Let's set up both farms for success. So we've got a Case farm, we've got a John Deere farm. I think at the time I was either planning on doing a New Holland or a Challenger farm as well, uh, but those things just never really came to fruition. But it was basically, they're both set for success, they could want for nothing. And yet, they only started with I don't know, about $100,000 each farm 
once all the equipment was purchased and they had to buy all seed, all fertilizer. They had a worker buy is on everything. So the workers have to buy all the stuff and then basically see who could do it, who can run it, time at one. So whatever happens, happens. And uh, that was basically it. I'm gonna say we're gonna do wheat. Yeah, wheat. So let's get this guy pulled out of here. I did customize each farm a little bit, but not too crazy much, just to be honest. I mean, this one's done up a bit, but nothing nothing too wild and crazy. Just kind of fun. Um, we did say, we, <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, well, let's check the, uh, I don't think there's anything in the silo, but I figured I was like, you know what? Let's just check it and see. I think we did hay at one time. That was kind of interesting. Um, are we going to be able to get this through the gate? It's not going to stop me from trying. I'll tell you that much. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. And the end goal was to see who could buy the, uh, this field right on our right, right here. Field seven, um, or sorry, field six. It's $7.7 .7 million to buy that field. So it's expensive for one, uh, ridiculously expensive. But the end goal would be once we get that field, you'd sell everything that you've got and you basically put together your dream harvesting setup. So all the cool, just anything you could think of that's just like, man, that's awesome. That is what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to put together. And, uh, and I would say we've done a pretty good job of doing the first part of that, but I'm so excited to finish this up and it's gonna be ending very, very soon. Like I said, um, the case farm is less than $200,000 away. So I think easily we're gonna get that off this field. We will be doing straw as well. So we're gonna be uh, collecting straw once it is time to get the harvesting set up and ready to go for this. Um, I'm concerned about this turn. Got to be honest with you, I need to set this on a worker and let it get working. But let's see, give that a little tappy tap. Come on, make the turn, but then cut it fast. There we go. I think we can do this. I think we can make this happen. Yeah. Now we do have the quad track as well with the John Deere planter. Man, I suck. Uh, so we're going to be using that. We're going to come up here and that's going to be what we hit our headlands with and, uh, and all that good stuff with this guy right here. This is gonna be set on the worker and ready to rock. So hire worker, seed and fertilizer is being purchased by that. Let's see, where is the big boy at? There it is, Case IH Quad Track. Now this is not the modded version, actually is it? This might actually be a modded version. Let's take a look and see. Let's find the uh, tractors. Is this a mod? Yep, this is the modded version with the big old wheels on it. Very cool. All right. That I did not know. So we've got a, uh, oh goodness, what do you call it? We've got the Steiger rocking. We've got this guy rocking. Uh, I'm running at such high quality that my computer's having a real hard time keeping up. Uh, irritating part is it's still in the green. Like it's barely, it's not even using 50% of the GPU. And yet, <laughs> it is completely irritating me to, to just no, no end. All right, there's that. I need a buy anything mod, so we need to put some seed and fertilizer in here. So we're gonna have to buy something, unfortunately. A um, couple of you guys may be saying to yourself, DJ, why don't you just sell the, uh, why don't you just sell the tractors so you have money? Well, unfortunately, that is not a uh, thing that we can do on this series. See, I'd set one here before. Let's just sit it all the way down on the ground and then come back in and do a little bit of landscaping. A little bit of landscaping never hurt nobody. There we go. I do have traffic turned off as well. Traffic on this map is pretty, uh, well, pretty poor and useless. So I just turned that off completely. Let's get some seed in here. Let's get some fertilizer in here. I believe these take liquid fertilizer. So we're gonna get all that. And it's gonna be time to put this crop in the ground or finish putting the crop in the ground. We've got it set right now. Let's see, let's move it over to Oh, this won't do wheat, will it? No, it won't. Do we have another? Do I have another planter? No, I don't. So that right there is going to have to be the guy. All right. Well, 
let's uh, come over here. Let's see if we can make it think that I'm in its way. There we go. Hop in. And I'm going to go ahead and take over from here. We're going to try and hit these headlands down. Oh, me, oh, my. It's getting weird. Well, both of the fields have finished completion. We've got cotton in this field right here. We've got wheat in the other field. Who is going to win? Is it going to be the crazy John Deere farm with all the wild, wild stuff going on over here? It's about to get even crazier with the uh, cotton harvesters. Or is it going to be the case farm who isn't doing much? Goodness gracious, what's our FPS? 20? Oh, that's rough. Oh, that is... T oh, it's 18. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. Why does that have to be so bad? I walk right over here and then it's way, way back up again. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's let it grow. We'll see you guys tomorrow in game. Back by popular demand, we have the iconic ideal cotton 10T harvester with just a stupid, ridiculous header on it. And it's beautiful. I've also had to take the... Uh, was it the art mechanic telehandler weight? We've had to put that in the back so that, well, so that we don't die. <laughs> so let's let's get this unfolded. There we go. Uh, we have painted it all up in John Deere colors because, well, that's just what you do when you're doing this kind of thing. We've got that. Let's spin around right here. Oh man, I didn't quite get to. No, 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 no! Stop it! I do have crop destruction turned on. And let's go ahead and open the header. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's get it dropped down. Man, just stop. Oh, something with the gearing. on. It's it's actually not their model. This is the one that I've modded. There's just nothing I could do about it. So this is, uh, well, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. I do need to bring the speed down. Um, though it is a whole lot of fun to use this thing at 62 miles per hour, uh, it is super unsafe and not legit at all to use this thing that fast. So there's no point doing that. Uh, it does have a 1 million liter capacity. Don't worry, it's not like a bajillion liters like it normally is with my mods. So don't worry, it's not nothing too crazy. Uh, but yeah, that still holds a million liters, but it's cotton. We're definitely not going to be getting a million liters of cotton off of this field. So that I'm not too concerned about. Um, actually, I'm not concerned about anything. This is going to be great. Uh, as a matter of fact, with this piece of equipment right here, I'll be able to hire a worker, let this go, let it do its thing, and then we can head over to the case farm because we are going to have to babysit the case farm. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on with the case farm that we can just let happen. Um, the harvesters, they do have a 100,000 liter capacity. Uh, I did have that increased just so we would have a little bit of extra playroom there uh, and get them from one end to the other because they're definitely getting more than a, a uh, hopper's full from one end to the other. But still, nonetheless, okay, we are at the point where I can hire a worker and let them go. So it's set at, let's see, was at 27 right now. Let's set it at about... 32. I think 32 is going to be good. How much cotton do we have already? 26,000 liters of cotton so far. Not too shabby. Well, let's save the game before anything bad happens and pop over to the case farm. Now, we've got harvesters around here somewhere. I just don't know where they are. Okay, here is one, and we've got a, That's definitely not our field. Here's one, and we're going to have to put this over fine you don't want to work Ugh, come on now with these harvesters they don't go any faster they're not anything wild and crazy like i said before it's just they hold more so they hold a hundred thousand liters nice easy they work for what we want to do let's make sure straw swath is enabled we do need to have straw swath enabled so that we can get some straw off the field make a little bit extra cash now if uh, again, getting hire a worker so they do a good job and make a nice straight line for us. Um, I will say this. If there is a tie, for whatever reason, or maybe a tiebreaker needs to be in effect. Here's how the tiebreaker for this series is going to work. So we've got, of course, 
the uh, the case and the John Deere. Let's say, for example, that both of them get above 7.7 million. At that point, it's going to be whoever has the most amount of money after it's all said and done. So after this crop sale, whoever has the most amount of money will get the W on that. Let's go ahead and fire the worker, take over. There we go. So you can see why I have got these edited and modded because that's 8,300, almost 8,400 liters right there. And uh, yeah, that's just, did I disable that? No, we're good. Um, it's just a little bit too much to have to sit and babysit this thing over and over and over again. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to do three headlands, I don't think. I think we're only just going to do two on uh, the top and the bottom. So what I'm going to do is with this combine right here, actually, I'm just sitting here thinking, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to run a headland on the other side. So maybe we do three. Nope, only two because the uh, thing that we're bringing through with the, uh, my, my brain hurts today. <laughs> Now the reason we're doing two headlands on each end instead of three is because the piece of equipment that I used to pick up the straw, well, it can pick up two at a time. So if I was running three, we'd be wasting a whole run. Plus, there's a reason that I'm gonna go ahead and run a headland up the side of the field right here. Because this one, whenever we're heading back the other way, that pipe is gonna reach almost all the way out to where the fence is. And well, I can't, I can't cart at the fence. It's just impossible. Uh, this whole field is gonna have to be done uh, by carting. I'm gonna have to do it the entire way. So we're just gonna basically sit behind one of these guys and rock and roll and get it done and get her done. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. We've got one lined up here. I've got another one lined up here. Hire worker, hire worker. And jump in the cart. Oh yeah, now we should be good to go. There will be one extra line on this side versus on the other side of the field. Not that that is a huge problem. It's actually not a problem at all. Uh, it just kind of is what it is. Also, another thing I would like to do, um, I'd like to do like a one or two day mini series on either each map or just like every other map, something like that, something fun to do. Uh, I've wanted to do something on Welker Farm, so maybe we'll take the, the idea that this was or of this over to welker farms right now the lone oak let's play it's not coming to an end it's not coming you know but it, it's kind of at a halt right now there's not a whole lot going on with it and so what would be nice is to maybe jump around and try our hand at some things that maybe we just haven't had time to do yet um oh, oh did i get too far away Hope not there we go yeah yeah, there's not a whole lot going on in there anyway, is there? Nah, not really. Uh, see, Cotton's doing well. That Cotton, <laughs> he's almost halfway done, which is just absolutely insane. No! No! We lost out on a bunch of straw. Oh, man. Enable straw swath. What am I doing? Come on, DJ. Get your head in the game, baby. Let's go. Oh, man. <sighs> It is what, you know what, it, it is what it is. I messed up and paid the price. One less straw swath. I think we'll be okay. Okay, drop this down, hire worker, hire worker. Jump in here and hope that I can get to the other side and get some carting done or else that guy's not gonna do so hot. Even though after running, what, four headlands and two runs down the sides, we only got 67,000 off of that one. So. I'm not sure that one run is going to hurt this guy too much. So, let's turn the help window off because we don't need no stinking help around here. And let's finish this field up. Uh, another thing, I'm going to allow for uh, 48 hours after the completion of both of these fields for the, uh, the sale of the crop. Uh, now, I'm not going to allow 49 hours, but we'll allow 48. That way, each uh, player or each farm, whatever you want to call it, uh, has the opportunity and the option to be able to sell for the best price to give themselves the most uh, most opportunity to win. 
I've got a funny feeling that Case is gonna win. It's just me. I don't know. So right now, currently, wheat is right over a hundred or one thousand dollars per thousand liters, um, which means that technically, technically, we could have already won. But unfortunately, that's not the rules. Both teams need a fair shot. Uh, interestingly, I believe, yep, the cotton harvester is on its last pass now. I don't know how much it's gotten. However, I can tell you right now at the spinnery, it's $6,200. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is $6,200 per thousand liters. So, yeah, it's going to be... I don't know if it's going to be close. I hope it's close. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm losing hope in case, man. I'm losing hope in case. Right now, if you guys are still watching, drop down in the comment section. Who do you think is going to win? We're getting close. And the straw lines are looking amazing. Not sure if anybody else has had this problem. Um, the <laughs> about halfway through harvest, both of the harvesters just quit putting straw out. I mean, it's still coming out. It's just not coming out the back of it. And, and that's odd because usually it does, even at this speed. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, I would say we are probably almost done uh, a down and back with both these harvesters, and I think we're going to be complete. Well, the straw works now that I stopped it and started it again so I could take a thumbnail. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. And that is all right with me. I mean, I could care less, to be honest with you. It's just an animation. Boom. Jump in. Set the cruise. Uh, I think we're gonna be. Well, I don't think we're gonna be getting close to five hundred thousand, but maybe about four hundred and seventy-five. Maybe four hundred seventy-five thousand. I think that is a realistic number, at least. Rocket through, man. This field is almost done. Is it just me? Maybe I'm the only one. I love seeing all these straw swaths, just nice, straight in a line. They look great. There's, it's not grass. It's not hay. It's straw. Something about it just looks awesome to me. And I absolutely love it. Let me know. Do you guys like that? Too? Maybe it's OCD. <laughs> Maybe. I don't even know. Oh, no. Almost missed. Ooh. <laughs> Here I am. Really enjoying the view. All right. Worker is done. Naturally, they're going to put all the straw in one place. Thanks for that. So we have uh, 480,000 liters in here. Now, the thing is, the price is going down right now. So I don't feel comfortable selling this because if the price is going down, that means we could have easily got more for it. So I'm going to take a chance because I know as long as we're over 500, <laughs> 500 bucks per thousand liters that we're going to be hitting that mark. However... I don't know what we are going to get for it. So for now, I'm going to bring this right here and set it aside. Because again, I don't know what our total price is going to be. However, I do know that we need to A, get this straw up. So we're going to have to bail that. But we've also got cotton down here. Now, let's pop over. Let's save the game real quick just so nothing crazy happens. Let's bump back over to the John Deere farm. So the John Deere farm needs well over a million dollars to, to make this happen. Thing is, cotton is a really good price right now. What was the, what was the price for cotton right now? It's 600, or yeah, $6,200 per thousand liters. And we've got 402,000 liters. That's... Um, that what is that? That's like two million dollars, is it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I am. Um, <laughs> I think John Deere is gonna win this one, y'all. I I don't think there's any way there's not because that's gonna put them up close to eight million dollars or more. Oh, we're getting there! No, no, no! That's going to be worth something, right? Let's get rid of this header before we do anything else. Let's get rid of the header. I'm going to keep the weight on it. Come on. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, it's just getting worse. Oh, man. Can we just pick this up and throw it? But I do want to sell the... Uh... Oh, is it like on there, on there? Whoa! Hey. 
Drop that down. Not what <laughs> I just wanted to just on the the thing the road, man. The road, just get on the road. Rabble. <sighs> How many of you guys were just <laughs> that was interesting. All right, so we are heading to the spinnery. The spinnery, if I remember correctly, is at the top end of the map, which it is. Uh, we're going to have to be very careful about turning because this thing is going to absolutely go if we turn too much. So I'm going to try and sit inside and barely, barely move it. Oh, and we're at six. Oh, it is pulling left. Well, that's not good at all. <laughs> Why's it pulling left? Look, we're heading off to the right. And now we're pulling left. <laughs> this is... I love farm sim. Oh, I think I... Uh, we may have run into a problem. And I've just thought about this. Uh, we've got a small bridge down here. And I think w this happened last time where... This actually won't... Go over, will it? Will duels go across here? I don't need to come back. I just need to get it over there. And we've got to get this sold today because I want to see how bad of a whooping it's going to be. And then let you guys figure out if John Deere is going to win or if Case is going to win. Oh, there we go up the hill. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. I am real worried that, jo or that Case is not going to do well and that John Deere is just going to whoop that tail. Maybe we should have done cotton on both fields, but that's not part of it. All right. Let's bump this out. Let's get it in line. Not right here. Oh, come on. Just put the wheels on the ground and start. And just go. All right. Now, all we could do... Oh, just go back over. There we go. All we could do is sit and cringe. There, uh... Well, we're at $8 million. So, well over the 7.7 .7 needed. And I've got a feeling we're going to go well into the nines. Yep, totally. 9.2, 9, holy cow, 2.4 million dollars for all that cotton. Oh, Case Farm's going to have a hard time tomorrow. So looking at this realistically, I don't think there is any way that the Case Farm is going to be able to catch up. And that's including a great price. I mean, right now, if we sold just the crop itself, we're only going to be getting around half a million dollars. There's no way. I don't think there's any way. You guys tell me. John Deere Farm is at $9.2 million, where the Case Farm is sitting at 7.5. I just don't think that it's there. Hey, maybe something crazy will happen with the price, and we'll get... I just, no, still, I don't see it happening. Nonetheless, that is going to be it for today. That is a huge bombshell. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you've not done so already. Join the GoHam fam and make sure you turn that notification bell on so you know anytime we do literally anything while I'm crazy. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you right here tomorrow to see how bad the whooping is going to be and to start working on the field in front of us. We're going to start at bare bones, nothing, a harvested crop. Uh, we're going to have to plow, we are going to have to seed, lime, fertilize, we're going to have to do it all. But, that being said, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace!